So here's a rather unexpected capture and one that we usually don't survey for. This is a roughed grouse that just bumbled into this net. This is a very impromptu filming session because we just got it out. We will in fact just be straight up releasing this after I finish filming because roughed grouse are a game bird and as such they are not one of the birds that are typically banded by a migration monitoring station. However, while I have it in the hand, it's interesting to look at, I guess. The reason they're called roughed grouse is because of their main courtship display. The males will prance around, roughing up their neck feathers, much like a 17th century ruff. Another interesting part of their courtship display is their tendency to thump their wings against their chest in a regularly increasing tempo, creating a very deep thud that can be felt more than heard for quite a long distance throughout the forest. It's a common misconception that they'll often be thumping on hollow logs, stands to reason. They'll often display on top of logs just as an elevated perch, but most of the sound is generated just from their bodies. In fact, they'll often use the same drumming log so regularly and so consistently that a drumming log can usually be identified by a pile of grouse droppings to one side of it. And that gave us something of an idea. Not only do we know the exact location of a nearby drumming log, we also have access to a blind to observe it from. And so we thought, why not try and catch some of this drumming display in action? I'd personally never seen it, so it was a great opportunity. It definitely took a bit. Grouse have a tendency to stand absolutely still whenever they're disturbed, using their cryptic coloration to blend in with the environment and essentially become invisible. It works pretty well. If you don't know the drumming log is there, you never even notice them. But after sitting in the blind for a while, the grouse eventually convinced himself that he was truly alone and started right back up again. It looks just about as ridiculous as you'd expect. But it's still a very interesting behavior and something not a lot of people actually get to see. Plus, you can't argue with the results. The sound carries for a very long distance, allowing these grouse to control a very large swath of territory. Eventually, our grouse sensed that something was amiss and decided to beat a, well, not so hasty retreat into the bush. Just in case anyone's wondering, I had to sit in a blind for nearly two hours to get this footage. I hope you enjoyed it.